we do everything from, uh, you know, from iPhones, iPads, the iTouch. Remember him? Dr. Brendan, a.k.a. the iPhone Doc. We introduced you to him last year when he was fixing everything Apple out of his tiny New York City apartment. Courtesy of China. And that is a new iPhone screen there. But a year's been good to the doctor. Hey, come in. How's it going? His business has exploded like Apple stock. This is your and first shop. This is my oh. first shop right here. My office is my apartment and coffee shops and the Fiat. Now he's got four stores, eight employees, and boasts 300 percent growth since January, thanks to customers looking for a quick fix. You're welcome. Did you think about going to Apple? Um, to be honest, no, I didn't. Emily Spolino's come here six times. I was bending down to tie my shoe in Philadelphia, and um, my phone dropped about 12 inches on the concrete. The most common fixes: iPhones averaging 100 bucks, and MacBooks averaging 200. One broken screen, two. You got hundreds of them in here. And you know what that means? Big business for Dr. Brendan. But it's about a lot more than that these days. The website's been expanded for more mail in repairs, and his team now makes IT service house calls in the Dr. Brendan mobile. Your Mac Pro is actually blowing the heat exhaust directly onto your server switch. This is one of the downsides of house calls $115 parking ticket. One secret of Dr. Brendan's success, hiring employees right from Apple, like Travis Sluss. We're not going after Apple's business. We love Apple. The product is simply so popular for very valid reasons. Um, that's one of the reasons why we're here. There's simply so many of them out there. Do you ever question that the demand for Apple products will fall and that would hurt your business? That's a great question. No. This is where we, you know, work with customers. The offers have started rolling in from franchisees and private equity firms. Kind of but he's not sort of. interested. In the beginning, um, I think it's smart to to just to do everything by yourself as much as you can as you can handle. And uh, I I really didn't want to get in over my head in something I really didn't understand. You're not ready to hand this business over to anyone yet. Not yet. No. There's, there's my other shop right there. In fact, Dr. Okay. Brendan's got his eye on global uh, expansion. Actually... You're seeing strong growth, but the economy's tough. Are you worried? Um, no. No, I'm not worried. Uh, th because I started this business in the middle of the economic meltdown. Okay, if, if I was going to be worried, I would have been worried then. Uh, not now. And for now, at least, Great. Apple hasn't come calling. <laughs> have you heard to this day from Apple at all? No, I have not, and I, I hope to keep it that way. Not once. <laughs> In New York, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.